I am not persuaded that 20,000 additional troops in Iraq uh, is going to solve the sectarian violence there. In fact, I think it will do the reverse. And I said at the time, when I opposed the search, that given how wonderfully our troops perform, if we uh, place 30,000 more troops in there, then we would see an improvement in the security situation and would, we would see a reduction in the violence. Uh, given uh, the, the deteriorating situation, it is clear at this point that we cannot, uh, through putting in more troops uh, or maintaining the presence that we have, uh, expect that somehow the situation is going to improve. Uh, my assessment is that the surge has not worked and we will not see a different report eight weeks from now. Finally, uh, in 2006, 2007, we started to see that even after an election, George Bush continued to want to pursue a course that didn't withdraw troops from Iraq, but actually doubled down and initiated the search. And at that stage, I said very clearly, not only uh, have we not seen improvements, but we're actually worsening uh, potentially a situation there. I think it is indisputable that we've seen violence reduced in Iraq. I also think that the surge has reduced violence and provided breathing room for the extraordinary work that our troops have done. Uh, they have performed brilliantly uh, throughout the process and obviously I'm very pleased to see the reductions in violence that have occurred over the last several months. Uh, and there's no doubt that because of their heroism and their outstanding work, uh, we have the opportunity to uh, salvage the situation in Iraq. In order to end this war responsibly, I will immediately begin to remove our troops from Iraq. We can responsibly remove one to two combat brigades each month. If we start with the number of brigades we have in Iraq today, we can remove all of them in 16 months. When I promise that I, we are going to bring this war in Iraq to a close in 2009, I want the American people to understand that I opposed this war in 2002, 2003, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So you can have confidence that I will be serious about ending this war. Do you, you've said you thought troops should be withdrawn. No, no, I've never said I, I've never said that uh, troops should be withdrawn. What I've said is, is that we've got to make sure that we secure and execute uh, the rebuilding and reconstruction process effectively and properly. And I don't think we should have an artificial deadline uh, when to do that. A hard and fast, arbitrary deadline for withdrawal offers our commanders in the field and our diplomats in the region insufficient flexibility to implement that strategy. Important is what I don't want is a situation in which we have uh, 80 or 90,000 uh, young American men and women who are over there uh, in a situation when they, where they do not have the resources sufficient to ensure their own protection. And, and what we have to do is make sure that we have enough troop strength. As long as we have troops there, we have to make sure that we have enough troop strength to make sure that we are safe and secure. We've got to make sure that they have all the resources necessary uh, to come home safely and to execute uh, the missions that have been uh, laid out for them. 
some ardent uh, opponents of the war, like Dennis Kucinich, for example, who's a Democratic presidential candidate, he takes a principal stand. He's not going to vote to fund the troops going off to this war because he believes that would help bring the troops home. Right. You know, the problem is, is that you've got an obstinate administration uh, that has uh, shown itself unwilling to change in the face of uh, circumstances uh, on the ground. And in that uh, situation, what you don't want to do is to play chicken to, to, uh, with the president uh, and create a situation in, in which potentially you don't have body armor, you don't have reinforced Humvees, you don't have night vision goggles. You said then that you have to say no to George Bush because we can't get steamrolled, yet you go into the Senate, right. your critics say, and vote for the funding every single time. Because at that point you've got hundreds of thousands of young men and women who have to uh, carry out the mission on behalf of the American people. Now, I introduced a plan in January that would have already started bringing our, hoop, uh, our troops home by now, with the goal of bringing all combat brigades home by March 31st, 2008. Now, we know the president vetoed a bipartisan plan just like that one a few weeks ago. And I'm proud I voted against giving a blank check. After this redeployment, we will leave enough troops in Iraq to guard our embassy and our diplomats and a counterterrorism force to strike Al-Qaeda. You said you'd leave a small force there to deal sure. with terrorist attacks. How long would you leave them there and what's your criteria for pulling them out? Well, no, no, that's not what I said. What I said is that we will have troops looking uh, after our embassy there, which we do everywhere. We do it in France, we do it in Great Britain. We have some military personnel to assure that our diplomatic uh, uh, forces are, are taken care of. Well, you know, I, I've, I would never say there's nothing or never or uh, no way in which I change my mind.